Okay, so I have cooked my bone broth in the slow cooker for three days. I have strained it through a sieve and then put it through a uh, wire strainer to get all the, um, all the solid bits out of it. And now I've got it in um, a bowl that it's been in the fridge uh, for, oh, I think it's been there since yesterday, if I can just sit that on there. So what you can see here, back a little bit, is um, a whole lot of fat that's congealed on the top of the bowl. So I'm just going to grab a plate. Now, if you use good quality bones, which should, um, this you can put in a jar and you can, you can actually cook with it. So it's just going to break off. Sometimes it's really thick, other times it's quite thin like what I've got here. So just taking the fat off the top. I actually pay a lot of money for this in, um, in the shops, this fat and the bone broth as well. So definitely making it yourself um, will save you a whole lot of money. I'm just gonna keep going with this. I like to save my or freeze my bone broth uh, in one and a half cup portions in Ziploc bags. Uh, I keep some in the fridge as well, unfrozen, because we use it quite a bit. So I just literally fill it up, one and a half, and seal it up. Nice and easy, always right if it's beef or chicken. Comes in handy for your restaurants, for your restaurants, for your recipes. Uh, and so I do a couple of those and then I fill up my ice cube trays because I find that the ice cubes are the best. If you're using the Thermomix, they ask for weight. Um, so the recipes ask for weight or call for weight because you can measure. So I find that just dropping cubes in until you get to the right weight is simple and easy. So I'm just gonna pop them in the freezer and they will stay in until frozen, obviously. Then I'll pop them out, put them in a big Ziploc bag and use them in my recipes and drop them into smoothies and those sorts of things. So I freeze some in bags. I freeze some in the ice cube trays like I've just popped into the freezer now and the rest goes into a jar. This jar's probably a little bit too big. That's okay. And that stays in my fridge. Normally I'm not very careful like this. I just get the whole bowl and pour it in. I'm trying to be careful. It's a bit of a pain. So there's lots you can do with the bone broth and having it um, stored these different ways makes it just a little bit more, it's a little easier to use. So bags, ice cubes, frozen and fresh in the fridge. Bone broth, it's amazing. You should be having at least a cup uh, every day and it's so easy. It's literally bones and a little bit of vinegar and water filtered water in your slow cooker for three days uh, You can roast the bones first if you want a good flavor and then you just strain it out put it in the fridge um, Flavor it with a bit of herb and mare. simple if you don't want to add everything like all your you know Your celery and your onion and your garlic and all those sorts of things You don't have to do that You can just flavor it afterwards with herb and mare, which is what I've started to do lately So bone broth get onto it if you have any questions, let me know